All right. All right. I, don't, I can't talk. Okay, it's on, I'm pretty sure. Today, exactly. Today, exactly. 24 years ago. This uh, single, I'm not saying it's an EP. By the way, before you harass me on this, I'm calling it single review. I'm not calling it EP review or... Yeah, I'm not calling it an EP review. It's not technically an EP. People are saying that. I really don't know why, but it's not an EP. It's a single with a couple B sides. That's it. I mean, that's what, even Coldplay said earlier. That's that was that's our first official s- single, and yeah, it actually is. It actually is. Yeah. So, let me look for the proof. I'm trying to find what's going on. Oh my god, I can't believe I have to do this all over again. Great job. Okay, there. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just do that. Okay, yeah. Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm gonna find it, don't worry, I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I can't find it. Okay, there, I think I found it now. Ugh, oh, damn you. Alright, and yeah, Brothers and Sisters in 1999. Released April 26, 1999. I'm sorry that took me so long. But yeah. The B side is easy to please and only superstition, which I'm gonna review those songs right now. It's not just a single review. The sing- the the track review will come next week, next Wednesday. I'm pretty sure the single review, like the whole the whole thing, is gonna come right now. So let's go. So the way we do this is with EPs and albums and I, apparently singles, maybe doubles too. Um, is freaking we do the track listing first. And then any music videos, which is none, so no, no uh, comment on the music videos. So it's th- just the track listing, and then overall thoughts, and then the rating. I'm pretty sure that I think that's about it. With e- EPs and music videos, I mean, with EPs and albums, it just has music videos. So that's the fourth category there. But yeah. And so yeah, we're, this is Brothers and Sisters, the first one, the actual song. Yeah. Starts off pretty good. It doesn't. It doesn't sound like much rock, but hey, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice touch. Uh, love how Chris is just gonna say. It, it, well, first of all, nineteen ninety nine Chris Martin versing. Hell yeah! I mean, you just get the. You just get it. so Chris Martin and his nineteen ninety nine boys in Brothers and Sisters. It starts off kind of slow. Like it starts off really nice pace. It was a nice pace it started off in. And then all of a sudden it just calms down for a little bit. And yeah, basically talking about how we're, how, wait, what, what? I'm thinking of easy to please for some reason. Hold on. Yeah, we got to spread love around and, it's, and, and everything's going to be all right. It's basically like a chill song. Well, not like an actual like chill song. It's like a song that you have to calm down. It's, it, everything's going to be okay. <laughs> but for this first one, I'm going to give it an okay, four out of five. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, next one is easy to please. It's three minutes and I think three three minutes and two seconds. Yes, it is. All right, that song is it was a really eerie song. I'm not gonna lie. It, it start. I forgot where they're recording this. Background, yeah. It, yeah, it was it was created by setting up microphones on a wet road outside of the studio. So yeah, that was the origin of Easy to Please uh, on a wet road on a really weird uh, city. I think this is actually where, I think the cover actually represents it, not gonna lie. That's where Easy to Please was actually written. We're not written, just recorded. And yeah, it's a really eerie song about, basically Chris saying, this, it's in the title, it's like, you're easy to please, you're very easy to please. Yeah, you, yeah, easy to please basically means like, he, he, he can get happy so easily. But yeah, it's a really eerie, eerie song. Really eerie. I'll give it a 3 out of 5. I realize I'm, not, I'm not too big of a fan of it. I'm sorry, I suck at this review right now. And then my favorite song on this goddamn single. Only Superstition starts off with kind of like a small acoustic and then blows up to Johnny's excruciating guitar. It's not excruciating, exhilarating, I'm pretty sure. His awesome guitar riff and then... This goes wild. 
and then it goes back home, and then goes back up again. And yeah, I don't really really get the concept of this song. It's just it's just really a beat, not a beat. I wouldn't say a beat. It's just really. It just it gets your blood pumping. It's like yeah, it gets your blood pumping. That's what it is, and that's uh, my favorite one on the album. Or uh, oh goddamn, e on the single. I I almost said EP though. That was embarrassing. But yeah, I'll give that one a five out of five. No, not a five out of five. Four point five out of five. That's fair. So brothers and sisters, yeah, that was pretty much it for the singles. My overall thoughts. Singles are good, mostly. Yeah, this is the early, the first ever single of Coldplay are doing really well. Mm, really, nothing bad to write about. Is uh, easy to please and brothers and sisters could be a little work, but they, I wish they performed only superstition live. I mean, my God, that's a really good song. But nothing bad about any of this. I'll just give it a four out of five though. First single, not bad, not bad by Coldplay at all. It was not their first EP, but this is their first ever single released on this date 24 years ago. So, brothers and sisters, 4 out of 5. Fierce Panda Records. And that's it for the video. So, yeah. What do you guys think about brothers and sisters coming in down below? Tomorrow is going to be such a rush, and I think Friday is going to be a surprise. Uh, next week, basically, is just every song from the single. So, yeah, let's go. So, this is going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching, and yeah, goodbye. That's all I have to say. Goodbye.